Me put the camera to my dad. What does that sound like? Tell us. <laughs> Honestly, guys. It's fucking fast, man. <laughs> Why are you fucking coming fast? What is up guys, this is your boy Mickey here and I'm back with another video. So as you probably read from the title, I finally received my HKS blow off valve. I've been waiting for so long, it got lost in postage but it's finally here and my aluminium charge pipe. It was purchased online for a shop called Drift Shop. It's here, it doesn't really matter after so many emails and complaints but it's here and I'm honestly so so excited and happy. I can't let you express. I've been waiting for this mod for ages. Like even before I owned a turbo car, I've always wanted a turbo car for a blow off valve and you know there's amazing sounds. I honestly feel like it changed the whole whole sound and whole look of the car. But anyway guys, before we get into the video, please hit that subscribe, that like and even drop a little comment guys because it means so so much to me, you know, small YouTuber. But anyway guys, let's just get straight for install. So guys, this is the box. The dump valve and the charge pipe is all boxed up or sealed. So let's open it up. The dump valve and the charge pipe is finally unboxed and this is what you should receive in the box. We have a HKS dump valve, no replicas or fake stuff, the real thing, all boxed up. I think they're made in Japan actually, so. We have uh, clamps, the charge pipe, a few hoses and the covers. So guys, material wise, it, especially the charge pipe, it looks like it's made from good material, I think it's aluminium. And it doesn't look like it's you know, dodgy, you know, it looks like it's a proper thing. It's got a nice um, finish as well. And I think it's gonna add a nice texture to the engine bay. So let's get installed. So we're about to install the blow valve to the charge pipe. But before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe and like. So let's get straight into the video guys. So for this video, we're gonna need an Allen key and a O-ring plier. And I'll show you where they're gonna have to be used. So first of all guys, I'd highly recommend you clean your charge pipe to use some water or isopropanol or even blow some air through it to make sure no particles or materials are inside. Once that's done, you get your Allen key guys and literally just tighten down the two bolts. One's up top and one can be located for the meth in the bottom. Once that's all done and tightened and you won't have any air leaks, we're going to install the HKS blow off valve to the charge pipe. Look at that bad boy, guys. So to install this, we're going to have an O-ring, we're going to have a clamp, and we're going to have the blow off valve itself. Make sure the, um, the O-ring is placed inside the chamber, let's say. That's, that's key, guys. Then you're going to have to place the clamp. It's a little silver clamp. So on the clamp, guys, it's going to have a flat surface and a grooved surface. Make sure the flat surface is facing the charge pipe and the grooved is facing the blow off valve. This is a key guys, it's so important because if you don't follow this procedure, you're gonna lose the blow off valve under pressure. As you can see there in the corner, the, the kind of the, the curve with the groove. So once that's placed on top guys, you can literally get your plier tool, your O-ring plier and you place it on the two holes over there and you squeeze and this will make the, the clamp smaller, reduce it in size and you'll be able to place it inside a grooved edge in the corner of the chamber and this will literally clamp down the blow off valve guys. Once you've done it, you might need two people. I had to help, my dad had to help me with this. Once it's clamped in, just try to turn the blow off valve you know in both directions and if it seems sturdy try to also pull the blow off valve off if it doesn't come off you know give it a little tug if it doesn't come off then you know it's in and it's solid if obviously it falls out then you know it would have been loose so to install the dump valve we're gonna have to remove your air filter and your original charge pipe so starting off with you're gonna have to remove this over here so it's gonna have two screws, one and two. Then you just have to push this inwards and that should unclip. Sorry guys, I've already removed it just to make it easier for myself. And quicker as well for yourself. Second of all, you're gonna have this clamp over here for the air filter. There's a clamp in here. Let's use a flat head. And you're gonna have to disconnect this over here. There's three clips. Just disconnect it and pull it upwards. And you're going to see 
this clamp over here this this pipe over there is a little clamp that's the second one then we're going to have to remove the top of the air filter and the air filter itself so just unclip these five clips remove the air filter put it on the side and you're going to have three it's not bolts you just have to push the air filter upwards and it'll click out of place or move out of place and it'll be free then finally we're going to have your original charge pipe and this is really simple as well guys you're going to have the filter body is located over here you're going to have a little it's like clip you're going to have to push the clip upwards and that will disconnect the, uh, the charge pipe from here and you're going to have another clamp just use a flat head remove the clamp very easy done and just these two hoses one and two you just have to turn the silver mechanism over here pull it out and that's it done nice and easy simple also with the air filter you may have this stuck in place you may not you just literally these three pipes over here just have to push them upwards because it disconnected to a piece of metal and it'll pop right out if not you should be able to get it out anyway so let's get to installing our new lower valve Guys, once everything has been removed, make sure you place the two caps, you just block off caps, one over here, and we'll have another one in the back where you moved the other pipe over here. And I've placed a zip tie on here, it's not needed, but I just put it just in case. I can't reach the one down there, I'm going to try. If I can, I'll leave it. If not, I won't put it on. Also, remember to take off your map sensor, your T map and place it on your new charge pipe this is really important guys place it on your new charge pipe using the screws which is provided and now I'm going to demonstrate how to install the charge pipe blow off valve and the charge pipe over here guys we're just gonna have to adjust this pushing this piece of tubing out a little bit more but we'll do that in a second make sure both clamps are on the pipe also make sure your t-map sensor is installed which is underneath and with the throttle body guys we're going to be using the clamp which came originally from the car and we'll demonstrate how to install it making sure both teeth are facing downwards and it should literally clip on just like that just give it a little wiggle make sure it's all tight we finally finished installing the charge pipe and the blow valve sorry it's a bit dark but it's getting late and we've also done the vacuum hose so that that's the original hose that comes from the engine we just use a filter this is really important guys because you get a lot of like crap and oil and this prevents it from going to your blow valve you know they're really expensive you don't want to get them you don't want to get oil and stuff inside of them so just place it like that, I put a zip tie, you can also put a bit of tape inside just to make it a bit thicker and the hose will fit a bit more tight. That just runs to the top of the blow off valve and now we're going to go ahead and just put a few more zip ties, make sure everything's clamped down properly and we're going to install the airbox. So guys, everything has been installed back on the vehicle and we're ready to start the car. I'm just going to start the car and let it warm up and then I'll give it a few revs. I skipped the whole um, reinstalling all the airbox um, process because obviously if you remove the airbox you're now to put everything back but just remember guys make sure the charge pipe and everything's all tightened down then connect your airbox make sure you get the clamp in the back and the clamp over here make sure these caps are on and the two screws for the front of here and your air filter is back in and you should be ready to start so guys the car is on it's all warmed up and let's see what it sounds like Let me flip the camera to my dad. What does that sound like? Tell me like <laughs> <laughs> Honestly guys, that literally sounds so... And we haven't lost a dump valve yet. We were scared that was going to fly off, but... <laughs> Imagine we see a dump valve flying. <laughs> yeah, like... 
It's all good guys, always make sure you double check. And before you rev your engine, let it warm up. But honestly guys, I I honestly, I honestly recommend this. It's literally, it's a bit pricey, but my dad could even say, he's behind the camera, he could even say, well, why do you want that sound? Like, what's the point? But honestly, it changed the whole, whole, whole sound of the car. The drives are going to be completely bad. It's going to be a hand <laughs> So if you have... Just a little feather on the throttle, guys. Honestly, this. So, guys, listen. This is the first time my dad's in my car as well here in my exhaust after we did it, and he hasn't got his seatbelt on, so the sign's on. Don't worry. It's no engine light or anything here. We'll do a little second pull here, second gear. It's fucking fast, man. <laughs> if you like the video, guys, just subscribe and like, drop a little comment, please. It helps me so much. And peace.